Hi everyone. This week uh, we're doing your love, uh, you know, like weekly love reading in connection with Venus in retrograde. Okay. So now, what is in Venus in retrograde? What or what it asks of us? Okay. It, I'm not gonna explain to you what it is, but it's what is asking of us. Now, Venus in retrograde is about self-realization. Okay. There are things that we um, we have worked on in our past, like relationship. You know, can be in your job, career, passion, all these things that we have done in the past that we need um, to to not to answer to, like put it into ourselves. Again, this is Venus in Aries, so this is about you being you. Are you being you? That's basically the question. And if it's still applicable, meaning, are you applying it because you really intend to be, or you're just stuck and not taking it? on you outwardly it's a little bit complicated but it's really not it's really just about you and are you still applying what why you started it and why you're doing it in the first place now this is not asking for you to take action this is asking you to focus within and once you have done that realization yes i am who i am oh but is that a song <laughs> I am who I am because I you know I don't go serious right I am who I am and is it really what I want okay as far as beauty in within not beauty beauty but you guys understand me you know Venus right okay so I'm not gonna make it more complicated than that um, thank you guys for you know for for watching this weekly reading and here we go for each time hi Aries welcome to my channel I'm Sal we're doing your um, weekly love reading in you know um, in connection with Venus in retrograde um, we're doing a two cards where it's gonna be steampunk and arcanas only from the crystal tarot okay this uh, is gonna be focusing the steampunk the first question that we're focusing on is who you are right now like what are you doing who you are and then you have the tarot um, for just major arcana, things that you need to work on from within because the arcanas are representation of a cycle of your life, technically, okay, the stages of life that you are in, which is Venus is asking you to focus on. You're going to draw two cards considering it's a second house. One more that I'm going to cut this for you and we'll see who you are, Aries. Aries, this is your card. Oh, wow. Nice. Aries, this is you. Okay, you are being, um, you know, um, not creative. You have so much ideas inside your head. Whoever you are, you are so, you have so much plans. Like, it's all inside your head. And technically, it's just like a matter of you taking action, which is an Aries. Okay, an Aries will take action at some point. But right now, you have to do an analyzing and planning all these things. That's why it is in your headdress. It's inside your head. So, regardless of energy, feminine, masculine, whoever you are, that's who you are. I don't know if you get that, right? It's a little bit confusing. But I'm pretty sure you get that. You're an, you're an Aries. You're supposed to be smart. Not supposed to be. You're smart. Okay. Two cards, Aries. Okay. Major Arcana. First card, the Hermit. I'm going to shuffle this again. Next card. Ooh, High Priestess. Very interesting. Okay, so with that idea, whoever you are, the one who's being creative, not outwardly yet, it's still inside the process inside your head. You have the hermit stage here. You are creative and you're doing what you're supposed to do because you're looking for yourself. You have traveled far beyond within, which is what Venus is in retrograde, as, you know, about also. And you have high priestess. You work from within and you listen from within. That's what it's asking you to do. I don't want it to be short. It's like only two minutes. But the message is very direct. It's just asking really to go within, which you are doing in this love connection. Now, how do you apply this with your love? Because I'm pretty sure you're antsy about it. So what is, where is love about this, okay? Now, listen, this is what love is for you. You go towards yourself, you exude love. You listen to your higher self, you exude love. You wanna connect with that person, go from within. You wanna connect with that guy, that girl that you want, go from within. You're in a relationship, go from within. Now you understand? You're an Aries.